how are you my class 7 english version students today i just also give you chapter 8 and the chapter's topic's name is about sound you know what is sound sound plays an important role in our life it helps to communicate with others we hear different types of sound around us tune of a flute horn of a car dogs barking etc we also hear that today it's also rainy day yes something we can hear that now sound is a kind of an energy which helps us to hear please everyone open the book and place page number 88 89 here i also give you the briefing sound is a kind of an energy which helps us to hear how is sound produced how is sound circulated how can we recognize different sounds we shall discuss in this chapter i am taslima tumnahal and i also give you lesson one and lesson two here lesson one Lesson 1's topic's name is Sounds and its Characteristics and Lesson 2 and 3, Origin of Sound. Please, everyone open the book and page number 89. Lesson 1, Sound and its Characteristics. What we hear is sound. Drop a steel bowl on the floor. You will hear sound. When you talk, you hear a sound from your mouth. Arian gets up from sleep hearing his alarm clock. She hears different kinds of sounds on the way to school. Birds chirping, sounds of rickshaw bell, horns of cars and men's noise are different kinds of sound. When friends talk, you can recognize all sounds from the voice and you can say who is producing the sound. Some sounds we hear are pleasing to the ear. It continues tune and is pleasing to ear. Some sounds are tune of flute and sounds of harmonium. Some are noisy, tuneless and disturbing. Some sounds are sounds of vehicles, sounds of cutting iron and dogs barking. Now, I also give you a first experiment tuneful and tuneless sound what process from different groups talking five to six peoples in each discuss and decide yourself which one is tuneful and which one is tuneless from those different sounds which we hear make a list of tuneful and tuneless sound from your discussion then anyone to each group present it to the class. Now what's the difference between tuneful and tuneless sound? Tuneful and tuneless sound, whatever it may be, all the sounds have a source. Sound is produced from any source. We can understand the source of sound from its characteristics such as by hearing the sounds of barking we can understand that the dog is barking to raise the telephone receiver we can understand that someone is talking from the other hand so i think you can also understand what sound and its characteristics now lesson two and three origin of sound here we also gave another experiment experiment 2 to know the cause of origin of sound required equipment a metallic pot some ropes and a stick process hang the metallic pot it may be steel or aluminium with a rope keep it in mind that it does not touch anything now, strip the pot with a stick. Touch the pot with the help of your finger softly. Do you feel the vibration of the pot? Strip the pot with a stick again and instantly hold the pot tightly. 
are you hearing the sound yet no you can't hear stir the pot again you will hear the sound touch the pot when the sound is stopped is the pot vibrating yet not it is not vibrating now we also learn the another word vibration what is the vibration vibration object which produces sound is called source of sound now lesson 2 entry origin of sound sound is a kind of energy that produces the feeling of hearing now we will do some works from which we can understand that how sound is produced when your school bell rings touch it can you feel that the bells vibrates we also gave you another experiment to please take it and uh, experiment that works to know the cause of origin sound another experiment three required equipment a metal steel plate spoon and some water process pour water on the plate stir the one edge of the plate with a spoon are you hearing sound stir the plate once again and touch the plate instantly do you feel that the plate is vibrating are you hearing the sound yet no you don't hear Strike the plate again and look at the water. Do you see any wave on water? The water is vibrating as a result. The of vibration of plate and it is making wave on water. We have come to learn the above activities that sound is produced through the vibration of the object. vibrating object which produces sound is called the source of sound now we also learn lesson 1 and lesson 2 here lesson 1 we also know that sound is produced through the vibrating of sound and the lesson 2 here the origin of sound propagation of sound needs medium sound cannot move through the medium of a vacuum okay thank you i just also give you very shortly briefing this topics lesson 1 and lesson 2 goodbye